Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to talk about keeping algae out of your skimmer. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. Now, if you have a refugium and a skimmer, you undoubtedly end up with algae growing inside your skimmer. That could be like the green stuff, I've seen hair algae, I've seen coralline, all kinds of stuff. And that really just adds to the maintenance that you gotta do with your skimmer. Um, so the best way to do it is find out ways from stopping light hitting your skimmer. Because if there's light there's and water, there's gonna be algae, right? It's inevitable. Um, so one of the biggest things, in the past I've done all kinds of random things like, you know, sticky notes on the side or built little cardboard things and they worked. It, you know, blocked the light, it kept it in the refugium and not everywhere else. The only problem is it looked a little hokey. Now, after, after all these different attempts, I really wanted to find a sleeker solution and ended up coming up with these really cool ALVs or light shades that work with AI Prime lights. Now, they're super simple and they pop into the screw holes on the AI Primes. So if you look on the bottom of the light picture, there is four different screw holes. Now one question I get asked a lot, can you put on more than one set? Is there one in the back? And yes, you absolutely can. Um, so there is normally a sticker there. If you peel off the sticker, poke a hole in it, then you could have the, the shades on all sides. And you just friction fit them into the screw holes. And from there you can direct your light. So you can make the light go exactly where you want it and stop all that spill from going everywhere else in the tank. I originally created these for my refugium because I was tired of cleaning out the skimmer. And I've seen tons of people actually use these on top of their tanks just to prevent glare from seeing them from the side. So it's super cool. Uh, now another thing to note, there is two different versions of the AI Prime. Now these work on both the Prime 16 and the Prime HD, so the newer and the older version. And each set actually comes with two different sets of pegs. And one of them is a bit of a little plus sign on it, and this is for the older model. And the other one has a bit of a hole in the middle, and this is for the newer model. So they did change the screw holes on it, so we now include both sets of pegs just to cover your basis. If you need to change it, it's easy enough just to pop it off. And you insert your other peg, just pressure fit it on. Uh, the new hinge design also is much more rigid, so it stays in place wherever you put it. Now the actual install couldn't be easier. Right now you can see there's a bit of buildup LG starting to grow inside the scammer. Um, now these just friction fit into the screw holes. So just find your screw hole and pop it in. Now you can see how much light is hitting the skimmer right now. You can see all the algae growing inside of it. Now if we just fold it down a little bit, boom, blocks all that light and it's going to prevent future algae. So yeah, so pretty cool product that I kind of came up with a while ago that really saved me a bunch of maintenance and I do love it. So super cheap accessory. Now if you want the free version, you can always, you know, tape up some cardboard or layer up the sticky notes or whatever. So that's 100% free version. But if you want a sleek version and you're running the AI Fuge Light or the AI Prime in your tank, be sure to check them out. Um, you can pick them up directly from Vivid Creative Aquatics and I'll put a link in the description below or many local fish stores now carry them. So that's pretty awesome, I'm super stoked. Even in like Japan and like Singapore, Australia, so worldwide. So blows me away. So really cool to see an idea come to life and be all over the place. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this. You know, if you want to make your own like DIY version or cardboard or whatever, but either way, I think it's a great idea to block that light coming from your refugium, keep it out of your skimmer, your reactors, and just keep your sump looking clean. As always guys, if you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'll catch you guys in next week's video. Hey, you guys still here? Perfect. Uh, now the one thing I thought would be kind of fun. I still have a couple of sets left over. So why don't we do a little bit of a contest, a little giveaway. So I posted about these on Instagram today, which is Saturday, and this video is coming out Monday morning. So the first, actually five people comment on the Instagram post and tell me that you'd love to win some and respond to the YouTube comments below with your Instagram username. And then we'll give it a few days and I'll randomly pick five people to win their very own set of the AI Prime Light Shapers. Good luck guys.